Time out. You stay in here. Oh, grumpy. We're grumpy now, aren't we? Because we're getting in trouble. Good morning, guys. Welcome to day three of Vlogmas. I am about to head downstairs and grab some coffee, but I also still need to run to the store and grab something for my life hacks video that I was talking about yesterday. Um, so I can finish filming that today and edit it for later this week So I figured while I'm downstairs getting coffee I should just walk over just like get it over with that way I don't have to go back up and down and up and down in my apartment building because it does take a little while since it's a big building So we're just gonna get it all over with that way I can get to filming my life hacks as soon as I am ready to I don't have to like go and get something before I can start Ah, but I am lazy <laughs> <sighs> I guess really quickly before I go, I'll let you guys know what day three of our 12 days of giveaways is. Ooh, today is a good one. Okay, today I am giving away three different MAC products. Okay, so the first two things that I'm giving you is some of their lip stains. I have two different colors here, so I'm gonna open them up so that you can see. The first one is called Resilient Rouge. It's this really pretty red color, and I thought this one would be super pretty for the holidays. It comes with a little doe foot applicator, and I just think this is such a pretty color. The next one is called Tattoo My Heart, and it's a little bit of a lighter, more corally color. Once again, doe foot applicator, but I thought this color would be super pretty, like once we start to move into the spring. Or anytime, obviously, but like typically coral would be a spring color. And the last thing I'm giving away is actually this little MAC Compact. It's just a double mirror. So I don't know, I just thought that that would be a little extra thing that I could throw in with these two products and obviously then you'll have a mirror to apply them if you're ever out somewhere and you don't have somewhere to look into. Now you will. So to enter today's giveaway, you need to be subscribed to both of my channels. That is my vlog channel and my main channel. And also you need to be following me on Instagram. And I'll have links to all of those things down below. And then of course, just leave a comment down below with your Instagram handle. That way I can make sure that you're following me. And also your Twitter handle because that's where I'll be contacting you if you win today's giveaway. And the part of this vlog that you enjoyed that way it's not just handles down below. <laughs> but yay, I'm so excited for today's giveaway. I hope that you guys are too, and I hope that you enter. And now I'm going to get changed, and we are going to go for a little walk to go pick up some candy canes. Threw some quick clothes on, just putting my shoes on. We're gonna run downstairs, grab some coffee, run to Walgreens or wherever, and grab, sorry, I'm putting you up sort of high, <laughs> and grab some candy canes. I'm hoping Walgreens will have some of those. I feel like they probably will. And we're gonna get on our way. Let's do it. Lots of lovely Christmas options here, but have not spotted candy canes. Ah, oh, here they are. Perfect, just what I needed. I think I'm gonna get some Hershey Kisses too. Farmer's Market. Let's just take a little walk through, just for fun. Look at these cute little succulents. So pretty. All of the food here smells so good. Yum. Oh my gosh, guys, I just had the most eventful trip to Walgreens. So when I got in there, there were like some cops in there and this woman was there with her two sons and she was, I don't know, something happened with her money. I think she was supposed to be able to pick it up from Walgreens and she wasn't able to, but the money had already been taken out of her account or something like that. I don't know, it was just eavesdropping, so it's hard to say. But she was freaking out and she just kept saying over and over, like, I just need to get home, I just need to get home, I just need money to take the train home and you know, the cops were just trying to calm her down. I could see her really, like, she was starting to break down. Like, I could just see it coming. Her eyes were filling up with tears. I just felt this overwhelming empathy for her. I didn't want her sons to see her start to break down like that. I don't know why I'm getting emotional. It's so dumb. I don't know. I've just felt so much empathy towards her. And so the cops escorted her outside and I asked her how much money she needed to get home and she said it was $10 a piece, so 30 bucks. I went into the ATM and pulled 40 bucks out for her because obviously you have to get it in 20s and whatever, it's an extra $10 that she can have. And I just gave it to her because I was like, you know what, like I'm gonna be okay without that $40, but she literally needs those $40 just to get back to her home. And then after that, she has to figure out what happened with her money, which is even harder and more confusing. Most of all, I just didn't want anything bad to happen to her in front of her sons. That's just so unfair and when you feel so helpless like that. I can only imagine as a parent, you never want your kids to see you like that where you're just like, on the verge of a breakdown, feeling like just hopeless. So 
I hope that I helped her. I hope that, you know, it helped make her day a little bit easier. But anyway, <laughs> I did get my candy canes. So those will be good to go. And also got some Hershey's Kisses to swap out my candy corn. I thought that I would try to finish all of my candy corn, but like there's still so much in there and you can only eat so much candy corn. So I think we're gonna get rid of the candy corn, swap it out for some Hershey's Kisses. Ah, that was like a crazy time over there. So it is 2 p.m. now and honestly, I've just been taking it easy. I actually did a little bit of Christmas shopping online. I talked to my mom on the phone for like an hour and now I need to film this last life hack and I want to walk you guys through a little bit how I go about sort of filming stuff like this I mostly use my table here because it's a nice plain white surface but before I had this really what I would do is just get a big piece of poster board I used a white one but obviously poster board comes in all sorts of colors so like you can have whatever color background you want and I would lay that on the ground and then film on top of that so I would have like a nice solid background I think wood floors are nice also as a background um, but I like to use my nice white table because I think it looks really pretty. And of course I have my camera here and I just put on the tripod and then I can turn the tripod so that it tilts down so that I can get like a nice flat lay. I can't get it as down as I wish I could, but it's okay, it does the trick. Changed back into the shirt just because I was wearing this shirt for all my other life hacks, so I feel like it'll help it look a little bit more cohesive since that way everything will be the same. Okay, let's set up my little filming area here. It ain't even cold outside, now where I'm from. So you can see out here that I'm getting more light from this side than this side because obviously my windows are over on this side So I literally just need to set up a little light coming from this direction that way it looks nice and even So I just go ahead and grab my diva ring light bring this out here Okay, we're gonna plug it in and turn this on So now we just need to look back at this and see oops Come back to me. Okay, that looks much better. So we're gonna leave it like that, and hmm, maybe it's still a little dark. We're just gonna pop this light up a little bit. There we go, I think that looks good. Great, and so now I'm just gonna flip this screen around so I can see it from that side while I'm filming, and we're gonna get going with this. Everybody's happy. Falling down, prayers are being answered. Okay, done with the main part of filming that hack. Actually, done filming that hack, but this turned out looking pretty nice, and so I want to get a photo of it for the thumbnail. So that's what I'm gonna do next. I'm going to like move this into this sort of like festive area right over here. Great. Um, and turn the lighting that way a little bit also and take some photos. Okay, I got my photos and now I am done filming that video completely. I literally just clean up as I go. Um, I tried to just do that because I know I'm not gonna want to do it. Obviously, I don't wanna do it while I'm doing it either, but it's better to do it right away than like put it off. So I already put my light away where I keep it. I dumped that hot chocolate because I sort of faked it for the video since I don't actually want hot chocolate. So I literally just did like water with some hot chocolate in it, which is not the way that I would drink hot chocolate. Gotta do the milk like the fancy way. And now all I have to do is wipe down my table and get rid of this stuff over here. And if I just tell myself that I can't like sit down and watch something until I get this done, it really just helps get it done more efficiently, which is always always better. Goodbye. And now we're gonna wipe down this table. Good to go. Pretty much all cleaned up. Um, while I'm at it, I'm actually going to switch out my candy corn here. Might as well just get that done while I'm working on things. So RIP candy corn, I'm very sorry to waste you, but you're sort of stale now anyway. Okay, well it's just sad. Okay. Now we need to add our Hershey's Kisses. There we go. It's not all the way full, but it's much more manageable, manageable amount of candy because clearly did not finish my candy corn. Yay, look at how cute and Christmassy that looks. That's so cute, I love it. Okay, now we're gonna throw this out. We're gonna pick up these and just save them. Maybe I'll need them for something else. And now filming is finished for the day. That's sort of my filming routine. I'm gonna watch something now just because it's 2 p.m. and I've, I haven't watched anything yet, so 
I'm gonna do a little relaxed time now. What's up guys? I'm about to hop in the shower really quickly. Just having a chill work sort of day today. Um, it is 4.30 in the afternoon now and I've just been watching more Mindhunter honestly. But I am gonna hop in the shower now just to like sort of wake me up a little bit and hopefully be able to motivate me a little bit more to get some work done. I was just looking at my mantle and I thought that it was missing something so I added these little string lights. They're just the battery pack ones. I just hid the battery pack back there which I think is like okay. And I think it just just makes it look a little bit more festive with the pretty lights over here. Still obsessed with my tree too. So pretty. Except this little one will never leave it alone. Molly, why are you obsessed with the Christmas tree? Why? You know you're not supposed to be, but look at how cute you are, a little Christmas kitty. Come on, let's move it, ladybug. No, not further under the tree. Away from the, look, she's going in circles. Away from the Christmas tree. You are not supposed to be under there and you know it. Hey, don't sass me. You know right from wrong and you don't care. Huh, you grumpy because you're getting in trouble so you're trying to ignore me? Behave yourself, okay? Oh, Molly, there is no escaping me. Nope, not going back under there. Let's go. Time out, you stay in here. Oh, grumpy. We're grumpy now, aren't we? Because we're getting in trouble. Hey, that's not nice. That's not nice. She'll be back out here in like a second. So I just threw just a little bit of makeup on and I'm going to run out and grab a bite to eat because I'm pretty hungry. It's 7 p.m. and I haven't even like had a second to think about food. So um, I definitely think I need to run out and get something yummy. Okay, so I just went and picked up a salad from Sweet Greens for myself. So I'm having this for dinner and I'm going to watch some Office and chill out. Oh my gosh, guys, it is so much later now. <sighs> it's actually almost 11 and I'm pretty tired and I have to get up way earlier than I normally do. I just have a really like long day tomorrow too, which is gonna suck. But it is Sunday, which means uh, Shameless and Smilfron. I don't think I have enough in me to make it all the way through an hour episode of Shameless, so I'm gonna watch Smilf before I go to bed. I've been loving Smilf. I think that it's really good. Smilf, new episode. Let's go. They're only on episode five, guys, in their half hour. Like, you could catch up so fast. Do it. But also, if you're young, there is, like, nudity and language and, like, some sexual situations. I don't know. I'm trying to say it the way that, like, the little discretion. <laughs> Whatever. It's just, like, a little inappropriate. So, if you are younger, then either don't watch it or, like, ask your par parents if it's okay if you watch it. I don't want to get you in trouble. I am seriously so addicted to Animal Crossings, you guys. Like... I can't stop playing. Did anyone else play this game when they were growing up? Because that's totally when I played it and how I got back into this. I like died when I found out there was going to be an app. Look, I'm meeting this new friend. I never read what they say. I'm so bad. I'm like, let's just get to it. Yeah, let's give him this little fish. I just think this, I don't know why it's fun. Like, it really shouldn't be fun. I'm not really doing anything fun, but I just really enjoy it. Okay guys, it is now 12.30. I've literally just been laying in bed and playing Animal Crossings for an hour. Like, what am I doing? I need to go to sleep. Anyway, I love you guys and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye.